Hey guys, Tony Soy Sass Assassin! Welcome to another episode of Chasing the Dragon Double Review, and today we're doing the Vega Fina. Year of the Dragon. Yep, still chasing the dragon. Still not done with it. Still gonna continue. I wonder if I can rip this off. This box is nice. Uh, can I? Can I? Can I? Can I? Oh, I can probably do it. I probably can do it. Oh, you're wondering why I'm ripping off. I'll show you. Oh, oh, oh shit, 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 shit. Oh, oh, is right. Oh, is right. All right, so I ripped off this. I don't need you to remind me. I know, I know. Okay, so this is what we're doing today. And the box obviously don't fit very well, but hey, we got it. We got it. Then you got this big Afina tag on it. You got this PC PR cigar association of Dominican cigar manufacturers label on it. You got this Bovida sticker on it. All right. Got to cut them open. Hold on a second. Ha <laughs> All right. All right. So, beautiful box with the latch. There you go. Look at that. It doesn't look bad at all. I actually like it. This is more like a, like a, the top of like a firework thing. I probably posted thing or something. I don't know. <clears throat> Not too bad. Eight plus eight long magnet. Magnum. Okay. And inside. Ta-da! Oh yeah, another reminder inside. Of course. Ooh. All right, let's see. Uh, documentation, read on your own. Whatever you feel like it. I'm not going to read it. It's too much to read. Uh, it's going to be hard to read. There you go. All right, pause and read it. I you like it. Piece of clear things. Both the pack is in there. And inside looks like that. So. Without too much work, let's see the cigars. Okay, so Vega Fina Year of the Dragon 2024 is six and three quarter by 54 Toro Extra, which they call it Magnum. All right, and uses Ecuadorian wrapper over a Nicaraguan binder and filler from Dominican and Nicaragua. Not very, very particular blend I, I would say that that kind of combination we've seen a lot msrp is 15 dollars per cigar that they make 500 boxes uh which is in the usa but total of 6888 boxes we got number 6781 uh 18 cigars in here nothing too crazy since it's not a lot of information we'll go right to it we'll, we'll smoke it Okay, we're back. So let's get started. Mm. 
a sweet grape, cedar, like raisin. A little bit floralness. It actually smells pretty good. Actually, it, it smells pretty good. All right, let's get rid of the foot band first. Big ass foot band. Here we go. This is what we got. Yeah, the Dragon 2024. Very standard. Uh, this is actually very correct. Right, the wordings are correct. Yeah, the Dragon 2024. Standard. Uh, a floating dragon while I run a cloud. That's very correct. And then just VF. Very good. Alright, and then this thing, oh, it's got a little tail, I just broke it, but, um, I don't know why they had to put a tail on at the end, though. Is it because of a dragon? But that's a weird, weird pointy tail, per se. Alright, it's a cut. Draw is a uh, slidey to the tight side, I guess. Hmm. It's like, hey, Banyar. A little bit floral, right? Let's get started. Give this thing the best chance possible. Spice, cinnamon, cedar. Dry peanut shell is try to get through. Oh my God, what was that? I swear to God, I just taste sarsaparilla. As I was talking. It's so weird. I just... What? No, now I just get... Barnyard. I just get... Woodsiness. And the beginner note of that. At the beginning note of that. There is a little bit of salty bits. Salty little bits. Where a star came from? It's gone. All right, let me smoke one third and I'll be right back. Okay, so we are at first third. First, there are I, I, I things brought up with mellow. The strength is about medium strength, okay? And then you get a little bit floral, toasted peanut shells, a little bit of creaminess, a little bit of sweetness, woodsiness. I think the floral is more forefront. And get a little bit of cinnamon pepper mix kind of thing. I want to say there's some coffee in there, but it's like a, 
very minor notes. It's like it's not even like a black coffee. It's like a like a watered down coffee bean type of smell. Like still still have some like silver skin on it kind of thing. That's what I get. First though. Relatively mellow, more relaxing cigar compared to uh, all the other uh, you know, the dragon I've been smoking. So it's it's good to see a little bit, you know, difference here. But we'll see if that changes up. Give me more of a noticeable notes and stuff like that. As I smoked, it, it kind of does a crack a little bit. But we'll see. We'll see if that holds up. We'll see if that holds up. I might I might put a little bit of glue on it just so that you you have best chance possible. So be right back. All right, second third. End of second, third. Yeah, so you can see I glued it a little bit because that finally decided to explore on me. Second, third has a little bit more flavor, but still the same flavor. It's still creamy, not uh, toasted, toasted, not shell. I don't, I, I want to say it's peanut because it's not like peanut, but it's like peanut shell, kind of dry, toasty flavor. And creaminess, woodiness, a uh, little bit of tingly pepper, not a lot. And like for it's floral, there's a lot of floral in here. That's pretty much it. It's a relaxing cigar. It's a floral relaxing cigar. I I, I don't see too crazy flavor on this, but it's relaxing enough to smoke. <clears throat> Vega Fina Ben. Nothing crazy. Just that. Get the point across. Which is nice. I mean, they have some mono, monogram in the back. If you see it closely, this model going about in gray. And that's about it. You know, the the it's a subtle packaging. It gets to the point. Not crazy. Relaxing cigar. But I think because it's so relaxing, that it kind of undershines compared to all the other dragon a little bit. For that price. For that price. All right. So last third, let's finish it up and uh, let's get to the summary. I really wonder what Eric is going to talk about this cigar because he hates floral. So that's going to be interesting. Be right back. All right, we're finally done. We're finally done. Last little last little bit is like like a cooling sensation, like a little, oh, I don't know. You want to call that spicy, but it doesn't burn. So it's like cooling sensation, like minty cooling sensation. A little bit floral. Just have a little bit of nuttiness. And just have a little bit of coffee at the end, all right. And but this is a lot lighter. It's a lot lighter. Uh, strength uh, about medium. It didn't, it didn't really change um, too much. So with that being said, this is one relaxing cigar. Uh, I I can smoke this. I can see myself smoking this a few times um, a year. A few times a year. It's relaxing. It's uh, it's good to chill with. It's just that the burn time is a long long time. This thing smoked for a long time. I smoked this for a long time. So it lasts a long time. It smokes pretty well. Uh, minus the crack. Uh, it's not too bad. I'm going to give this $15 to $16 range. $15 to $16. Especially with that box. $16, you can get that box. That's pretty amazing. All right. That box takes a lot of effort to do. And, you know, the decoration and everything, despite of the band, is relatively simple. You got the message through. You got everything that it needs it to be a limited edition at $15 range for MSRP. I think it's, it's worth more. I think it's 15 to 16, even 16 and a half. All right. But I think I'm more comfortable at 16. I don't want to give too much because the, the flavor wasn't out of this world. It's just relaxing. So I would recommend this cigar. This is pretty good. Uh, if... Um, if you're just looking for a something to collect and you can smoke and, and, and budget friendly, this is the one. At uh, fifteen dollars, can beat it. They definitely did pretty good for this one. All right, so I like it. I think this is pretty good. Fifteen, sixteen dollar. They are right at the right correct price range. Box is amazing. Good collectible. That's that. That's that. You know, it doesn't have the amazing taste that will beat some of the other. Darker, you know, the dragon, sure, but this is a lot easier to smoke. This is a lot easier to be able to enjoy it and and not compete with all the other dark leaf San Andreas combos out there because there's so many of those. You got to compete with those, right? But this is just the way it is, floral and whatever. You just, you know, it's, it's relaxing. 
like I say, it's relaxing. Okay, so that will be it for the cigar review. If you like it, make sure to like, subscribe, comment, and share. And make sure to watch uh, Smoke Wines Have One's uh, um, double review. And um, make sure to check our podcast and our swag, our membership. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys. Bye.